Welcome to Learn and React with me. In my last video, we have seen how to implement routing in React applications using React Router DOM version 5. We used features provided by React Router DOM like route, switch, and redirect. When we talk about switch, we might have many questions like why to use switch and what happens if we don't use switch. So let's try to answer these questions in this video. This is the code we have seen in the last video where we implemented routing and the UI looks like this. When I click on home, it goes to home, about, it goes to about, contact us, it goes to contact this component. And when I browse the base URL, it gets redirected to home and any uh, route which is not existing in the application also gets redirected to home. Now let's try to answer our second question. What happens if we do not use switch? Okay, let me remove this uh, switch and let me add another uh, route which is the base path and uh, I have created a root component. This is a simple component which displays the text root. So when I browse the base URL of the application, it has to display the text root. Let's save it and go back to the browser. Let me browse the base URL. Okay, it's getting redirected to home because we have a wildcard entry here. Let's talk about why it's going there. If you observe, I see both root and also the home components here. Uh, okay, to avoid confusion, let me just comment this. Now save it. Now when I go to home, I see only root. It's well and good. Now when I click on home, I see both root and home. What's happening here? So when I said slash home, react will match with slash as well because slash home has a slash in it and react will try to search for all the uh, matching routes. So it first matched with slash and then it matched with slash home. And that's the reason we see root and the home rendered on the screen. Now, let me add another route here. Slash home slash colon id. So colon id is used to add parameters to the URL. Uh, it is to send data to the component through URL. Uh, we'll see how to use this colon id or uh, any uh, parameters or templated URLs in our future videos but for now just remember that colon id is used to send the data that we want to pass to a component as an id now let's save this and browse so uh, let me go to the newly created component I will say slash home slash one id can be anything one or abc or anything so uh, look at this, it matched with slash, which is root, and slash home, and slash home slash colon id. So what's happening here is React wouldn't stop when it finds the match. It would continue to look for all the matching routes. When I said slash home slash colon id, it matched with slash home and slash as well. One solution to avoid this is to use the keyword exact so let me say exact here to the base url now go to the base url so i see root here when i say home previously i saw root and home now it's just home so it's working and now i would say slash home slash one it is still showing two homes because it is matching with the previous home as well so add another exact here now slash home slash one just shows one home component 
Now the second solution is uh, just remove this exact keyword and wrap all these routes with switch as we did previously. So let me just wrap it, save it and now when I go to root, it says root. Let me go to home, it still goes to root. And let me go to home slash one, it goes to root. At, at least it is not going to multiple components, it is just going to root. A uh, reason for that is a uh, switch would try to look for the matching route. And when it finds the first matching route, it would stop looking for other routes. So what happened in our case is when I searched for, when I browsed for slash home, it found the match here because as we discussed, slash home would match with slash as well. So it found the matching route and stopped looking for other routes. And that's the reason we navigated to root. So this is where the combination of switch and exact keyword comes into picture. Now let me, I have added exact keyword to the base URL, saved it and I'll browse the base URL. Now it's just root. When I go to home, it's just home. About, it's just about. And I will go to home slash one, it's just home. So this is how switch and the exact keyword would help in organizing the routes for your React application. I hope the concept is clear. Keep watching for more videos and don't forget to subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.